It's a name you haven't heard much on the Panthers this season. Stanley Thomas Oliver, the seventh round draft pick, faced adversity early in his life, but it was his mother's choice. Channel 9's Kevin Stewart introduces us to the rookie and his family. Growing up, me and my mom, she was a single mother. Um, you know, we kind of moved from apartment to apartment. There was nothing in the house. It was just me and my mom and my blankets. Panthers cornerback Stanley Thomas Oliver was taught that success is earned in the early stages of his life. I come from a very privileged background, and rather than take from my parents, I wanted to work, I wanted to make money, I wanted to buy things for my son. Stanley's mother, Azure Ray, juggled raising a newborn, being a full-time student, and managing a local restaurant in Florida. It was more about, you know, setting the tone for him to let him know that, you know, even though you're privileged, it doesn't mean that you always have to take advantage of it. And sleeping on floors, it was kind of one of those things where, you know, hey, we have to save enough money to do these things for ourselves. Finding a way through your early years can often take you down a windy path. But the lessons of hard work and a love for football put Stanley on a straight road to a bright future. One that gave him a full ride at FIU and eventually a shot at the NFL. But the draft process was unsettling. As the rounds progressed, the nerves continued to set in. I had a feeling that I knew I could get called late. Uh, it was getting kind of scary. It was, um, you know, just a lot of different teams saying, hey, hold on, you know, if you don't go this round, we might pick you up later and things like that. There was a lot of anxiety trying to figure out where, where he was going to be, be at the following day. Finally, at pick number 221, Carolina came calling. I want to welcome you, man. We're excited to have you. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, Coach. And we, uh, we, we know that you're going to be a special player. We, we've been following you since the Combine, and, and I know you have all the physical skills, and, and we believe that you can develop them, man, and come in here and help us. Yes, sir, Coach. I want to know. Yes, sir. I'm sure if anybody actually watches the video, they will hear me scream in the background. <laughs> Don't enjoy yourself, man. <laughs> Seventh round picks are never guaranteed to make the roster especially in a year with only an abbreviated training camp to audition. He found a role in special teams and grinded, just like he was taught his whole life, all the way up until the final cut day. It felt like draft day all over again, honestly. You know, you, you, you went to see if you're going to get a call or not get a call um, on the last day. and Everything else kind of on edge. You don't want your phone to ring. This time, the phone didn't ring, which was good news. Stanley made the Panthers' final roster. There's a lot of people that only had one mom and one one um, parent growing up. So that's, that's a struggle in itself. And having to deal with all the extra things that comes with that is it, a lot. So sometimes you give up on your dreams, sometimes you take the wrong path. And I just want everybody to try to follow the, the right route. 